bank. ...against one another in the final race on the program. Bridget, Theresa Marie are members of one of Victoria's best-known racing families. Their father, Pat, is a leading trainer and their mother was tragically killed in a road accident just over a year ago. As daughters of Ballarat trainer Vic Payne, Therese, Bridget and Marie have virtually grown up in the saddle together. But the 2200 Progressive Handicap was the first time all three would compete at an official race meeting. Marie, the youngest of the trio, didn't rate her chances very highly against her more experienced sisters. Uh, pretty nervous. You've only had five rides yourself. How do you think you'll go against them? Uh, I don't think my horse has got much chance. A pain trifecta would have set the record books reeling, but it wasn't to be. Young Marie on Tar Shell was up with the leaders for most of the race, but at the finish line experienced triumph, and Teresa's third on Chelsea Yarn was the best the family could do. Although she did admit her young sister's early form had her worried. Yeah, look, coming to the straight, I thought she was going to beat me. Her horse looked to be travelling better than mine, but... I think it just got a bit tired too. But the placings didn't really matter and the Payne sisters say they're looking forward to the next history making time all three meet on the track. Well done. Two leading jockeys and a trainer had mixed fortunes today when their appeals against sentences were heard by the VRC committee. Mornington trainer Matt Vivers had his disqualification reduced to a suspension and can resume on August the 1st. The brilliant jockey Len Morn's appeal was dismissed. Because of his stay of proceedings, Morn is now out until May the 17th. Another apprentice, Robbie Griffiths, had his suspension reduced by five meetings. Griffiths, on the leader Papal Princess, was outed because stewards believed he didn't ride the mare right to the post at Caulfield when she was beaten by Dream Rawler. Griffiths resumes at Cranbourne on the 21st of May. Last Saturday's Sydney Cup winner Major Drive won't be going to South Australia for next month's $170,000 Adelaide Cup. Trainer John Maas said today he didn't believe his horse could carry 56 kilograms and win at Morfordville. Maas intends to take the chestnut from Sydney to Brisbane for their $250,000 cup in June. It had been anticipated Major Drive would attempt to equal the record Reckless established 10 years ago when he won the Sydney, Adelaide and Brisbane Cups in the same year. But although Major Drive was magnificent in defeating Myocard in the Sydney Cup, his trainer, John Ma, is convinced his horse is too small to carry 56 kilograms and win in Adelaide. Fox Hill, third behind Major Drive last Saturday, and a perennial Cups contender, will now carry the number one saddlecloth, and like a number of other stayers, looks well-weighted. Rising Fear, runner-up in the Melbourne Cup, has only 53 and a half. The Colin Hayes pair, Bourbon Boy and Cadavo, and George Hanlon's duo, Mintmaster and Tradeline, have all been given a chance. And one of George's horses won again today, Bronze Knight at Bendigo in the feature race. The Quadrilla 2, 6, 8 and 5. Gauchi, the winning jockey there, 162.95. Daily double, 2 and 11, 26.95. Extra double on 6 and 5, $4.20. The track will be the key to Caulfield. At the moment, it looks like being seen from Caulfield.